Hey guys, and welcome back to the Horror Realm. Now, we're going to talk about something. And it's something I don't uh, hope I'm in camera. That's not what we're going to talk about. It's something I uh, usually uh, enjoy and I'm quite uh, keen on. It's mature audience only movies. So I watched one last night, and not a porn. It was. Uh, the Girl in the Third Floor on Netflix. <sighs> Terrible. Hour and a half of my life, I'll never get back. And you'll rarely hear me say this. It was atrocious, abominable, horrid even for the horror realm. Um, the main guy, I don't know, I've never seen him play anything. There's probably a reason he was terrible. Monotone, couldn't act at all. Um, spoilers, all kinds of spoilers at this point forward, so if you want to watch it, don't, I'm going to save you some grief. Basically, it's a struggle between uh, heaven and hell, you've got basically a, a woman from a church representing an angel, and an old whorehouse with a couple uh, girls that were killed, now are trying to see if they can lust men into dying, killing them, their ghosts that kill and they get trapped in the house as well. Long story short, a guy moves in before his wife does. He has sex with one of the ghosts. She ends up killing him. Killing his friend. And then trying to kill her. And she's pregnant and her baby and trapped them all in the house. She's unsuccessful. And really the best part is his wife, the guy that moves there first. Which, it's weird. It does follow the... 12 grammatic steps, and you think he's gonna be the heroine, but he's not, so it's a pretty good twist. She actually ends up being the only person that gets out of it, and you think all of them will. So there is a decent twist, so there's one saving grace. And the acting of the uh, wife of the male lead is another saving grace. There's, and it does follow the 12 grammatic steps. Not much of a subplot, really, besides, you know, his past of, you know, you, he uh, frauded a bunch of people out of money, and so he drinks and has all these terrible uh, habits, and that's pretty much the subplot. And it's it's trash, just like the whole movie is trash. So don't see it. And this is weird coming from me. I'd rather see Polar, which I already did a review on, well well ahead of this movie. And it's PG thirteen. I don't. I know. I'm backtracking. I know. I know. So see Polaroid. Uh, do not see Girl on the Third Floor, which I believe is the title. I could even be wrong by the title. I'm so disappointed. It was terrible. Right now, I'm sitting at Walmart waiting on getting new tires. And then, my new tires are in for the Jeep. And the laptop's in. Woo! So, we will do an unboxing. I have another video as well planned. That will all be coming later this week. I'll also do a Dead by Daylight stream. Hope you guys are enjoying the channel. I'm really having fun doing this. So, uh, like share comment and subscribe